Hey, how you doing? I can't channel my inner Joey. I'm just so terrible. <laughs> Second day around top is already underway. Tammy, Vinny, and Dee are here on the lead. And then, let's see, we got Martha, and we got Christy. The whole gang is here and counted for little Tippy Cam here. Let's see. He's drinking his water. Right. Tippy's thirsty. Yeah, it's already pretty hot. And when we drove in, we were seeing some cool advertising. So. Advertising is awesome. Yes, Tempe has a uh, cutest what it says. pumpkin in the pants shirt. Cutest pumpkin in the pants. Yeah, so he's he's pretty adorable. But here's all the fun stuff we're getting ready to see. And this is what. Oh yeah. You gotta go look. Come on. Look, this is what Round Top looks like. It's just tent after tent filled with vintage. It's so cool. So of course, gotta stop for some motor oil stuff. And this is a really cool old gas machine. Now this is advertising polygas. Polygas is pretty hard to come by. So I'd be shocked if this were original. They do remake the clothes and the stickers and all of that for the old gas machine. And I want to point that out because that's pretty cool. And uh, the rest of the gang is down here in this spot. And you guys, Gulf Oil. All the signage you could ever want is at Round Top. That would be so cool in an industrial lot. Let's see, they want a thousand for it, which is probably about right for a sign like this of its size. And uh, inside here, there's all kinds of little advertising things and displays. Oh, so cool, look at this. Follow the steps in order for super car wash. Look at the bubble graphics on that. That's amazing. And they've got, for goodness sakes, chicken and eggs. I love that sign. And little hotel, old hotel keys. These are, ooh. Look at this. Look at that key. That is really, really cool. Just amazing. The story of the Titanic. Oh my gosh, I might have to get this from my friend Frank. Oh, $50. Let's see what the, the date and this is. My friend Frank, who is not part of this community but loves history, has researched the Titanic exclusively. And he is fascinated with the wreck of the Titanic, and this would be a lovely gift for him, but I think at $50, I might have to leave it behind, but they have some beautiful things. I love this card sign. I love zooming in on that. <laughs> okay, let's go check out the spark plug sign. We're from the same area. I might have to ask how much that is, because that is cool. Is it a flam sign? Yeah, guys, look at this. Old flam sign. Okay, I'm going to ask how much that is. Because that is really cool. And this old candy dispenser. Oh, how cool is this? Ten cents. And then you turn for the candy. And of course, if you're into you need to spoons and silverware, Aaron, I'm thinking of you. This would be the perfect spot to get some of that stuff. Amazing graphics. Look at these. Oh, look at the Edison Hospital lamp. That is so cool. And then we've got a bunch of the JD Dills. Uh, JD Dills cut plug tins. I love these. $15 is very reasonable. So I might have to ask about the spark plug. There's the auto lamps. I've got one of those. Oh, right. And uh, yep, what do you want to show me, Dee? Oh, oh, there she is. I'm oh, right here. Dee's got something Maybe for if me. If you held on to this, it, it would work for you. <laughs> <laughs> the <fogs. laughs> That's what I need to carry around. Yes. <laughs> I can channel the right, the right uh, Oh my New God. York. That's hilarious. I'm just not good at that. Oh, what a cool booth this is. Look at that lamp. 
Oh, no, that's Ooh, and they've got an old yeah, Chesterfield yeah. little man hide away yeah. to get that home. Yeah, we're a good price. I think we'll be coming home with me. Okay, let's see what else they've got. Jewelry galore here. Now, this is fun because you get to kind of dig through all kinds of little treasures. I like that. Might find something cool in here. Alright, I'm going to go ask about that spark plug sign, and then we're going to continue digging through the treasures because there's a lot here. Look at the Sinclair <laughs> rocker can. How cool is this? Oh, you would tip it forward like that to get out the oil, and so that's what they call the rocker can. And this whole booth, Vinny, is this our vintage paradise? Apparently so. Yep. Oh, look at that. It's Nipper. I see, so there we go. Oh, did I take it away too soon? Nipper. That is so fun. That is amazing, Benny. Look at the little bear cocktail shaker. Looks like it's all full of these tins. Isn't it full of the gramophone needles? Is that what these are? I have no idea. Yeah, little. Oh, no. Actually, those are for buttons and clothes. I'm not quite sure. You should see how much that is. That's up your alley. Yeah. I, I don't have this one. Okay, we're gonna have to ask. What else is these. here? Well, this is for Look at the standard stuff. That's cool. Ooh, look at all these handy oilers. They've got Singer showing and the mobile handy oiler. And look at this Lammas and Bolts and Nuts display. You know, I almost bought one of these a few years ago, guys, but they're so large that you have to have a dedicated place in your house for them, so I really can't get something like this, but all of the stuff they have is amazing, and I love the Liberty Gear blue oil. Yeah, this so fun. I saw a can a few years ago with that graphic, and then you've got the pins oil and the cardboard label, so that's after the war. Man, they've got some really cool stuff inside here. Look at the Lumpkin tape display. All of the graphics are just incredible. That's what draws me to all this whole advertising. It's just the graphics, and there's something so warm and cool about having something that survived and rusty like this cabinet here that would have held probably drill bits in different sizes, like a machinist cabinet. And this Putman. Flawless dice. Can you tell when I am in my heaven? My advertising heaven. <laughs> they have so much, and I just saw a master lock display. Mm, look at this old hickory shoelaces. I mean, you could put a lot of cool stuff in here. I mean, this stuff is amazing. I want to see where I saw that master display. I think it's right here. Ooh, they got a little mobile sign. Of course, that one doesn't have the Pegasus. I like the Pegasus. That's my thing with mobile gas. There it is, Master Tadlock. That's probably a little newer. What a great display. Tons of ephemera. I mean, I'm finding so much ephemera at Round Top, and it's just amazing. And look at this Bell public telephone plan sign. They want 150, and honestly, in that condition, that is not terrible. Uh, it is a double porcelain sign. Just amazing. And Vinny, I'm sure you saw the Coca-Cola stuff, didn't you? Look at this. I'm sure he did. Refresh yourself. Drink Coca-Cola, and we got a Coca-Cola clock. And another one, I believe this is one of the cam clocks. They are selling cam in the back. Table tennis has some very cool graphics. This is this booth is all me. And they have records, and I saw a record. They have the ink stamps on it. So yes, rusty crusty and records here and around top. The perfect booth for vintage and vinyl. <sighs> so much to see. So little time and so many wonderful things right in front of me. So I found a really cool old oil can I have to have. But it's full of oil and the guy who owns this booth is so nice. He's pouring it into another can so I can get this can home. <laughs> so that is so awesome. These guys are so nice here and 
look at the graphics on this can too. The thing we're getting is these were on the five dollar table. Which you, are. you can't beat that. That's wonderful. And it's so great we can get the oil out so I can get it home. Look at that. And the graphics great. Since I am finally together with my friend Katie. Yay. And she tries so hard to get the New York accent down. I'm going to try to teach her today how to say, hey, how you doing? I can't channel my inner Joey. I'm just so terrible. <laughs> so you got to get the mojo going. You know, okay. you got to you got to kind of loosen up, you know, and then you got to kind of get your inner Fonzie, you know, Arthur Fonzarelli. You got to kind of get that flowing and just get, hey. Hey. hey! hey! And then you just go, hey! How you doing? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, we're gonna. I'm gonna try one more time, guys, and I, I'm really trying my hardest. <laughs> I just can't get it. Alright. Okay. Hey! Hey. <laughs> hey, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> okay. Cut. So I got my cans. I'm so excited. This one was only five dollars with some great graphics on that. And then look at this Merit motor oil, how amazing it is. I got a steal of a deal on this. Now, these are empty, so they'll be easily able to be packed in a secondary suitcase. And they will go to Jacksonville with me, which is great. I can take them and check them. Uh, it's a perfect little can to have in my collection, so I'm so excited about that. And it can't be $5. Uh, so now we are leaving Round Top and we are headed to Austin to see Carrie, which I'm very excited about. And later on tonight, we're going to go explore more of Brenham. So I can't wait to share that with you. But uh, I'm so thrilled about my little tiny cans. And somewhere back here, there should be a Scotch tape display that we also picked up for a steal of a deal at 40 bucks. Man, today has been a good day in the world of thrifting. Oh my goodness, you guys, what an incredible time antiquing at Round Top. I cannot believe I got that scotch tape display for only $40 and the one oil can for five. I mean, that was a steal of a deal. I am so excited that we got to spend the morning with everybody at Round Top and then go down and visit Carrie in Austin. That was such a treat. I talked to Carrie all the time through our little Instagram group and it was so much fun meeting her in person. Uh, we didn't record that part of the trip because we just wanted to be in the moment and chat and hang out. We had a lovely long lunch and then went to Starbucks and just continued the conversation as if we were chatting on Instagram. It was just a delightful day. But of course, by the time we got back to Brenham, it was like 1130 at night and Christy and I were hungry and exhausted. So we picked up some pizza from a wonderful little place and then hit the hay because whew, I tell you, Round Top will wear you out, but in the best way possible. So, of course, we had to get our rest so we could get up and do it all again the next day. But thank you so much for tuning into this vlog in which I did not film an outro, so I'm filming it now. And I cannot wait to see you all in my next video coming out next week on Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern. I will be running that one as a premiere. This one was not a premiere because, well, I'm visiting my family for Thanksgiving and it just wouldn't work out with our schedule. So hopefully you guys will join me next week at seven o'clock for a new video coming out from Round Top with the whole gang. I can't wait to see you there. And of course, before my next video, I'll be seeing you over on Instagram at vintage underscore and underscore vinyl. And I hope as always, folks, that you will stay in, stay safe, and binge YouTube. Bye-bye, everyone.